Hello everybody. Um, so as everyone knows, I've decided to go back over the road and decided to chronicle what I'm doing, my experiences, and how things go. So with that said, ignore the shirt. Uh, I'm wearing old work shirts because I don't want to ruin or destroy any of my good clothes. Um, since I don't have a uniform yet, that comes down the road apparently. Um, but I have decided to go after a lot of research, reading about a lot of different companies and trying to figure out where I want to go. Um, I went with a company called Fraley and Schilling. They are a flatbed company. Um, they also do Conestoga wagons. And what a Conestoga wagon is, is a flatbed with a soft side curtain, uh, that goes along it. I'll show you guys a video of that later. Um, but I did a lot of research as far as where I wanted to go, what kind of home time I was going to be able to have, uh, having two small kids. That's kind of important to me. Also wanted to make sure I was going to be able to make enough money to support a family. Um, so I did a lot of research. There were a lot of good companies out there. I talked with a lot of people, did a lot of reviews, didn't see a lot of videos, um, or people talking a lot about, uh, Fraley and Schilling. Now, you go online, you look at Indeed and Glassdoor and stuff like that, and, and they've got a lot of really good reviews from drivers. Um, but the stuff I did find was really good. Uh, so I decided to go with them. So orientation, they start orientation every Monday. And they, unlike most companies, rented you a car. Uh, so you can get down there. They, they don't throw you on a Greyhound bus and, and trudge you across the country. Um, they try to keep you pretty much, uh, cause they hire a lot of regional stuff, but they rent you a car. So that was, that was a plus right off the bat. Um, you get there Sunday night and you do a road test, typical. Um, and then they have you do a, a pick your food for the week. So the one thing that was different with uh, that in regards is, or that aspect is most companies will, you get breakfast because the hotel they put you in serves breakfast. Most hotels do nowadays. And then they'll provide you lunch, dinner, you're on your own. Uh, this company actually did lunch and dinner all week long. That way, while you're at orientation, you don't have to spend any money that you don't want or don't have uh, or anything like that. Your basic needs are met, uh, which is really good. Um, then Sunday night, you return your vehicle, everybody goes back to the hotel, you gotta be back at 7 a.m. Monday morning. You show up, and you do an agility test. Um, I was like, what kind of agility test? I'm a fat guy, you know? Uh, but basically, you just, they wanna make sure you're able to lift tarps and chains on top of the flatbed. They make you climb on top of the flatbed, walk across the flatbed, hop off the flatbed. Um, you, you could be agile like a sloth and still manage to get it done. Um, so then, uh, you go in, everybody goes and gets their DOT physicals done, drug screening done. Um, you come back, there's a little bit of waiting for that because they take everybody off site to do that. Um, then you come back, a lot of paperwork. You fill a lot of paperwork out. You go back over your application. Your basic, typical, typical orientation type stuff. Um, and then they start bringing different people in from different departments. Somebody comes in from payroll and they explain your payroll to you. Uh, somebody comes in uh, and explains benefits. Somebody comes in and explains um, maintenance. You know, let you know what they do, how they do it, the process they want you to go through, how you're able to get different things that you need for your truck safety guy comes in and he talks about uh, safety and what they look for, how that goes against your uh, your pay, different things like that. Uh, then they have uh, the next day, Tuesday, they have all the drive managers come down to meet people and go over your, your contract or agreement. They give you a letter of acceptance, a job offer letter, and then go over again how you're getting paid, just different little intangible things. Um, 
they, this company has a guarantee, pay guarantee. Now, as long as you're running, as long as you are pulling freight and you're available to run, you're under a load, you're getting things done, you hit that minimum guarantee. It's pretty simple. Make sure you're driving safe. Make sure you're not, you know, curb hopping and damaging the trucks and stuff like that. It's, it's simple stuff. Basic driving of a truck. They understand accidents happen and stuff like that. But as long as you're running, you're going to hit your minimum. Uh, even if you're, if you're running harder, you're going to go over your minimum. Um, I didn't hear a lot of talk about beginning pay when I first started with them uh, or was talking with them about coming on. Uh, and didn't find out until we got there how much you're actually paying you a mile. Now, they start off at 41 cents a mile. That's not a lot of us. are like, oh, that's not. It's not. It's not a lot of money. But you get paid for... Uh, Securing your load, unsecuring your load. Uh, different shippers have. Uh, there was a shipper I did on Sunday that, because it was a Sunday, paid an extra $50. There, there are a lot of other little add-ons that they do, and basically it broke down. Uh, I made about $0.65 cents a mile, which is, is pretty good driving a truck. A lot, of, a lot of drivers will understand that. A lot of people who don't drive won't basically how a truck driver gets paid is we get paid for every mile that we drive we don't get paid for um hours we don't get paid for a lot of things we get paid uh to drive per mile so having a, a guarantee in case you have a slow week accidents happen you're stuck on the side of the road for four hours truck breaks down stuff like that you're still going to make money and get paid and then they have a sergeant from the tennessee state trooper comes in and he gives everybody the riot act about what they look for what they expect what they want and how they want you to be um he is a very intense guy but a rather cool guy then the rest of your week is basically going over the qualcomm doing your paperwork, how to turn your paperwork in, how to write up your paperwork, how to do, you know, do all that stuff to make sure you get paid, make sure they can build properly. Uh, Qualcomm is our computer electronic log system, which tracks us, um, where we go, how we're going, how many hours that we're allowed to drive under DOT standards, um, stuff like that I'll go over later, uh, for people who aren't truck drivers and don't understand that. Uh, we do load securement they have a couple trailers that you go out and you get on and you learn how to load coils and steel plates and slinkies and all that other stuff and um, you do that a lot of it in the classroom and then you go out and you do a bit of that out in the truck and show you how to use the ratchets and the binders and all that other stuff um, fairly simple you just got to pay attention to your weights that's all it is. Um, and then Friday morning, uh, they take you out there and they, they run you through everything and kind of again, they go through. If you're doing flatbed without a Conestoga wagon, they show you guys how to tarp. Uh, if you're Conestoga, they show you the, the trailer and go, unhook this, unhook this, slide it all the way back. Bam! Untarped. I don't have to fold a tarp. I don't have to do none of that stuff. So, uh, good. And then, depending on where you're getting your truck from, you may have to go to Rushville, Indiana, or someplace like that. Uh, if you're going to Rushville, they rent a car. Have you drive up there, pick your truck up. Some guys got a rental car, went home for the weekend, just had to be back at Rushville with enough time on clock to start driving and running loads. Uh, they do have a second week of orientation for guys who haven't driven flatbeds, who don't know the load securement, who aren't familiar with load securement. Uh, that goes more in depth in the training process of it, which is really good. Um, I did not do that. I have a little bit of flatbedding experience, so I went ahead, just started running. Um, get those paychecks rolling in, right? But, uh, 
the people that I've met at Fraley and Schilling are nice and talk with you. They don't snub at you. They don't try to walk past you. If you have a question, they're more than willing to help you out and answer that question. So far, out of all the companies that I've been with, this seems to be the most friendly driver oriented company I've been with. Now, I've only been with them a couple weeks. That's why I said this far, this is how it seems. Uh, they've gotten me home for my weekends. They pay me the way they say they're going to pay me so far. I just, this is a very driver friendly company. It's a lot of companies go, oh, we're family oriented and we're family owned and operated forever. And, you know, you get in there and they treat you like crap. You are a number. They just say that to get you in the door. So far, this company seems like they really do honestly care about the drivers. Um, with the exception of the trucks, which I will talk about later. Um, but orientation was um, a week long. It was packed with a lot of information. It kind of felt like I was back at truck driving school without the driving of trucks, if that makes sense. It was in depth. It was well thought out. There are two trainers, Fleetwood, and real name, by the way, he's a, he's a really good guy. They have Fleetwood and Wayne. Wayne, Wayne is a very knowledgeable, so is Fleetwood. Um, they were, they were ready for any question you had more than willing to answer it. They were personable. They taught you what you needed to know. Um, they didn't treat you like kids, which there are trainers out there that treat you like you are a two-year-old. These guys didn't do that. They came in, this is what we expect, and let's get it done. You learn. If you struggle, they will help you. It's what they do. And uh, they did a really good job, uh, I feel, of helping uh, and, and interacting with people. Probably one of the better training sessions that I've ever had with a driving company. So... All in all, my first week of orientation was great. Um, I have no complaints. I thought that they did a very well, a very good job of putting everything together. I thought it was uh, informative and engaging. Uh, you know, we had I think uh, 15 people, 14 people by the time everything was said and done in our orientation class. But like I said, as far as orientation go, this was a well put together, hearty orientation of training and expectations. And it was good. It was a good orientation group. Um, so far, I think that um, Frailing Schilling is going to be decent. I am, I'm happy to land here. wet my whistle but I got a good vibe coming to this company uh, I can't say that about every company I've gone to uh, there were a couple companies that I was like Mer. Um, and turned out to be really bad uh, anyone in my personal life under knows the company I'm talking about and the situations that I've been in but Fraley and Schilling so far through orientation has been a great company they do seem to, to care about their people and take care of their people it was good i enjoyed uh, my my little stint there and since i've had to go back um get new equipment different things take care of things uh they've always been helpful and, and on point with everything so right now i say orientation uh, go for it if you're looking for a flat bedding job or want to jump from van to something else this so far has been a great company to go to i highly recommend it uh, at this point so stay tuned like and subscribe uh, i will be making videos uh more videos to come if you have any questions throw them in the comments down there and uh i will do my best to answer them guys y'all have a great day drive safe we'll talk to you later